Hey guys, as promised last weekend, I'm releasing a brand new 3D printed puzzle. It is called the Terra Icosamoid. So the thing is, uh, I finished designing this puzzle way before the first Megamoid was ever released. And I actually finished 3D printing it as well. But the thing is, it was so complicated to break in that I just left it on a desk for about like a year and a half, maybe two years. And now I just realized that I, I really should finish it because it really is worth it and it's an amazing puzzle so I'm really glad I finished it and um, and yeah so that, that that was for the the story behind it now to give you a little bit of context uh, originally I didn't even want to design this as a Terraminx I just wanted to make a corner turning uh, pentagonal anti-prism so this is the shape that you can see there's a pentagonal face on top one on the bottom and it's an anti-prism in the sense that it, the bottom face is turned half a turn according to the top face Rele well, resulting, sorry, in, in those uh, equilateral triangular faces. And uh, I just wanted to make a corner turning version of this puzzle. Uh, and I realized that I, I think that this uh, existed already, or maybe it was something similar. So I, I didn't want to copy or anything. And um, so I decided to make a higher order version. And the thing is, I realized something. It's that you get 72 degree turns and then I thought to myself wait why is that happening and the thing is the pentagonal antiprism is actually just a truncated icosahedron which means that this is basically just a truncated teraminx or a teramoid which is why this is called the terra icosamoid because it's an icosahedron teramoid so yeah that was for the mechanical information let's say and, um, and it spins just like uh, a Terraminx, which means there are, um, well, I'm going to say pentagonal centers, but technically they're not pentagonal because of the, sh the truncation. Um, now, those centers don't turn, again, uh, because this is designed as a corner-turning only uh, pentagonal antiprism. Now, let me show you something really cool with this puzzle. Um, if you start to turn it like that, uh, and align the, the parts here, you get something here that's sticking out completely and you can turn it and it goes like that and it gets pretty crazy and it's, it's, it's insane uh, because the thing is you get some parts that stick out completely like this one is completely out of bounds um, and, uh, and so okay I, I have to admit it's kind of scary because you think the parts are going to be fragile or they're going to break or something but actually they're, they're quite sturdy even though uh, some are completely sticking out like that. And, um, and yeah, so, so also it gets pretty crazy when you scramble it. Uh, let me see if I can do something like that. Um, I have to be honest, I'm a bit reluctant to do so uh, because of this. Because it gets so crazy in shapes and sizes. It's, it's just insane. Um, yeah, it, it is just crazy. Um, so I guess I could turn this maybe yep I can turn this I don't really want to turn much more but this is already insane and and that's just a Terraminx as I said so yeah no I'm not gonna scramble it no um, I was thinking about it but pff, I really really don't have the time for this one uh, I'm gonna leave it like this though uh, it's it's really a cool pattern in my opinion well if you could call that a pattern, it's a pretty random shape, but I think it's really nice to see, like for example, this layer that's completely sticking out, those uh, parts all around that are just crazy in shapes. And also, something that I wanted to show you is the overall shape that you get here. Here you can start seeing the outline of the Pentagon The Pentagon here. This is because, well, if, if you completely scramble it, it's probably going to resemble an icosahedron because there's only just missing gaps. But the shape is originally an icosahedron. So this is it. This is what it looks like when you start scrambling it. That's after just like a few moves. Uh, I think completely scrambled, it would look insane. So this is it. This is the the Terra Icosamoid, and well, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe. I've got all my social networks in the link in the description below. Um, really it helps uh, and thank you guys for always commenting on my videos it's awesome so I will see you in the next video next week